Welcome back. Our next guest formed a new theater company in a suburb that hasn't seen one in many, many years. That's right. We're here now with Michael Shottle, who started the Root River Theater Company in Franklin. We're going to learn a little bit more about it. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank yeah. you for having me on. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Let's start about... Uh, let's talk about starting a theater company in general. Like well, that sounds like a big undertaking. Yeah, Why would you, had, you do that? Yeah, well, I don't know. You have to have a <laughs> sense, a little, a little bit of insanity going on. I think. Um, I mean, it's, it's basically like starting any other kind of company, you know, any business. But the thing is, you know, you're asking people to volunteer, you know, mm -hmm. and take times out of their out of their lives. So that's really the challenge to it. You know, is actually getting the people that are willing to to participate. You know, and then the people to come to it too. Certainly. Yeah. Oh, certainly. Yeah, and that's. The, joy, the, the benefit of being here is the fact that now I've got, you know, people know that I'm here. So hopefully they'll see you and they'll come and see the show. And, you know, that's getting the word out is the hard part. Mm -hmm. What's your is. vision for the company? My vision for the company, basically, I certainly want to be part of the community. I want to be really integral. I mean, I want to partner with businesses. I want to partner with other charities. I want to I, I want to be out there. I want people to know that, you know, we want to help them just like, you know, they want to help us, you know, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Really have it integrated in the community. Yes, and exa exactly. For example, in Franklin. I, yeah, right. In Franklin, right. And I, for example, I was thinking, you know, say you have a salon that has people that specialize in wigs and hairstyles and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah they, they could do stuff like that for shows, and we would in turn, you know, promote them or, or, you know, advertise for them too, you know, in our programs, things like that. That's cool. You're in the middle of your first season. Yes. So you've had a couple shows already. Yep. The mm -hmm. next one that's coming up is Speed the Plow. Speed the Plow by David Mamet, yes. So what are, what are the shows like? What are, what is your um, goal in the types of productions that you choose? Well, this, this particular show, I will admit it's, it's uh, adult content, you uh -huh. know, it's a little bit, a little bit edgy. Um, the next show um, in June is certainly more for an all age all age things it's uh i think we're trying to get more towards you know all ages trying to get some children involved you know mm -hmm. younger people um next season i have something really special planned for for the senior actors in the community too which is going to be a lot of fun that is so, fun yeah. wonderful what's speed the plow about speed the plow is a satire about the movie industry in hollywood it's basically about the the ducking and diving and and all the way that they have their own agendas and things like this you have Bobby Gould, who's head of production, and his friend Charlie, who I'm playing, uh, they get together. They're going to produce this great movie, and but then the temporary girl comes in and, and convinces Bobby that you shouldn't do that. You should do make this book, which is just throws everything out of whack. You know, mm -hmm. who who is the show good for then? It's adult content. Yeah, you said. I'm, I'd say 14 or better. Okay. You know, it's it's you know there's some strong language in it, but I don't think it's too bad. Uh -huh. And then early June, you have a couple of white chicks sitting around <laughs> talking. Yeah, what is so, that about? Well, as we said in the break, it's like you, about you ladies. <laughs> it's you about know. the morning line. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. No, it's, it's, not, it's not really what it sounds like. It's more kind of a Thelma and Louise kind of thing, except without driving off a cliff. Um, <laughs> good, you, you, good. You basically, you have Maude, who's uh, straight laced, you know, everything in its place kind of person. And then you have the new girl who's just moved into town, moved up here from Texas, who just kind of barrels her way in and just in sense, you know, she's makes a friendship with Maud, whether she likes it or not, you know. So <laughs> it is, it's great. These two opposites and they find commonality and they just wind up becoming the best of friends. It's really a, a sweet, sweet, sweet show. And, and it very, is kind of like yeah. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great. So people can come on out and enjoy mm -hmm. some of the shows. The, right. the Speed the Plow is really only going on this weekend. Yeah, yet. well, like I say, this is our first season, so scheduling with, with our venue and stuff, we only managed to get four performances for these shows. So. And you're at the Crown Plaza mm -hmm. Milwaukee Airport, mm -hmm. so they have a little, you said, private yes. kind of intimate theater yeah, it's, there. It's, yes, it's a theater setting. Um, we actually have an adjacent room for a lobby, and you know, and it, it works out really well. It's proper theater seating, small stage. It's really intimate. Really That's nice. fantastic. Yeah. So you got to head out this weekend mm -hmm. to the Root River Theater Company. Mm -hmm. It's going on again. Speed the Plow this weekend, the 15th through the 17th, and then in June, a couple of white chicks sitting around talking. June 5th through the 7th. The phone number on your screen to call for tickets is 414-301-9246. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Congrats. Great to meet you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.